you clicked on this video because you want to know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Whether you want to know for a cool party trick, or you're looking to actually join the cubing community, I'm so glad that you are interested in this fun and intriguing activity. There are a couple things you're going to need to know. I'll put them on screen, pause and take a moment to write them down and memorize them. This is cube notation. This is how you turn the cube and how it's read. And these are the algorithms that you are going to need to know. Also remember that you're not going to solve the cube looking at it trying to move each individual color. Each little cube is made up of multiple colors and you need to put the cubes in their right spot respective to the colors they have. This is the first step. It is called the cross. The easiest way to learn how to do the cross is to start by doing the daisy. It looks like this. Sadly, I do not have time to explain exactly how to do the daisy, but the basic idea is to get the white edge pieces, the ones that have two colors, matched up to the yellow center, and then match them up to their respective center pieces, and then turn that side twice. That's how you get the cross. The next step is to complete the white face, which we will do by putting the corner pieces into the right spots. You can do this by using algorithm 1. Take the corner piece you are solving and put it in the corner spot above the spot it's going to go. Then use algorithm 1 over and over until the white is on the same side as the white center and the other two colors should also be on the correct sides as well. Do this over and over until the white corners in the first layer are solved. Note that if a corner is on the bottom, you can move it up to the top by using algorithm 1 once. Now we have to complete the second layer. This means putting the non-white and non-yellow edge pieces into the right spot the right way. To do this, take any edge piece on top that you are wanting to solve. Match it up with the center piece that matches the color facing you. Then put it on the opposite side of the center piece that matches the color on top of the edge piece. Then you are going to use algorithm 1 if the edge piece is on the left and algorithm 2 if the edge piece is on the right. Then you are going to face the center of the color on top and then use the other algorithm you didn't use to put it in the right spot. Do this over and over until the second layer is solved. If you have an edge piece like this, just do what I said and then try it again. You should get it to the right spot like so. Now we're creating a yellow cross. If your edges and center match up to make that line, use algorithm 4 after making the line horizontal. It should create a yellow cross. And if you have an angle like this, make the angle face right and then use algorithm 3. It has that wide F move. Use algorithm 3 to create the yellow cross on top. And if you have the dot, use them in any order you like, but you have to use both. You have to use one and then the other because I don't know, cube's weird, but you use one and then the other. Doesn't matter the order. I like four and then three. Note that unlike the white cross, the edges don't need to match with their respective centers yet. We're going to fix that in the next step. Almost there, just a couple more steps to go. Now we got to get the edges matching with the right centers. So we want to have the edges that are solved be in the back. Now you're either going to have two or you're going to have all of them. If you have all, skip this step. But we want to have two. Match them to the back and to the right and then do algorithm five, which looks like this. And then you should have all of them solved. Now... If they're across from each other, which is a possibility, you're going to just do the algorithm once and then set the solved edges to the back and right and then do it again. There are two more steps left till you've solved this cube, so you're doing a great job. Okay, so now we got to put the corners in the right spot. That does not mean solved. just means in between the centers of the colors that the corner has. So... The weird thing about corners is you're either going to have one, all, or none. If you have none, do what I'm going to say, and then do what I'm going to say. Do it again. So when you get the one, you're going to put it to the front right, like this, and then you're going to do algorithm six, which looks like this. You're going to check and see if your corners are in the right spots. If they're not, do it again, and then they should end up being in the right spots, like so. Nope, again, not solve those two. This is the last step and it is the easiest step. You're going to flip the cube upside down so that white is on top and yellow is on bottom. Then you're going to put an unsolved corner into the bottom right area like this and you're going to do algorithm one over and over until it is solved. Yes, the white is messed up. It'll solve itself. Now move the bottom layer, just the bottom layer to get your next corner up there and then do algorithm one again and again and boom. Guess what? You just solved a Rubik's Cube.